Our top story this evening, just two days before their season opener, Bemidji State officials announced today that longtime head football coach Jeff Tesh is on a leave of absence. Defensive coordinator Brent Bolte has been named interim head coach. Sports director Justin Prince joins us now to tell us more about a situation that still seems to have more questions than answers at this point. Uh, Justin, it's a story I know you started to get wind of earlier this afternoon. Yeah, that's right, Dennis. BSU's regular pregame media press conference scheduled for this afternoon was canceled around noon today, and we were told no members of the media or coaching staff, excuse me, of the team or coaching staff would be available for comment prior to the game. That is just something that doesn't happen very often, so our antennas were kind of alerted. And at that point, and then later this afternoon, we got word that Jeff Tesh was on a leave of absence and defensive coordinator Brent Bolte was taking over as interim head coach. I was at practice today for Bolte's first practice as the interim head coach. Bolte has been a longtime assistant at BSU starting in 2000. He was named defensive coordinator in 2005. No one at practice would comment on the situation. Athletic Director Tracy Dill declined comment, as did Director of Communications and Marketing Scott Faust. We tried to contact Jeff Tesh at his home, but he has not returned our call. We should note that he is not listed on the BSU website anymore as of this afternoon, and his Facebook lists him as the former head coach at BSU. Still, the university terming this a leave of absence officially and not providing any details at this point. Uh, Justin, uh, fair to assume this is not health related? You know, Dennis, we really can't assume anything at this point, but the information we have gotten from sources close to the situation tell us that it is, it is not. We are not releasing the details of what we learned because while the information from both sources is similar, there's enough disparity in the info that at this point we are just not ready to broadcast that without further confirmation from additional sources. Rumors are flying around and that will happen when information is not being released, but at this point, we're just not ready to go on record with information we have gathered about the situation. All right, fair enough, Justin. Thank you very much. I'm yep. sure you'll have more in sports coming up. Yes, we will. All right, thank you very yep. much. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.